I've been trying to figure out when is the perfect time to travel to Germany. And that's fluctuated over the last uh, few months to the last few years uh, due to the pandemic. Now, there were some points where the numbers in Germany were dangerously low um, in a good way where, you know, there weren't as many people getting infections and stuff like that. And it was pretty much safe travels. As long as you were vaccinated, you can, you know, travel to Germany. Um, there would be some minor restrictions while you're at, there and stuff like that. Possible uh, quarantine things that you might have to do. But for the most part travel is pretty easy but now it seems like those cases are kind of rising through the roof a little bit and there's an article here that i wanted to kind of go over so um <clears throat> before we get started if you guys are new welcome if you guys are returning viewers welcome back i am weirdly obsessed with germany <laughs> on a grand scale so if you guys um want to see more content like that and random segments of my life just go ahead and hit that subscribe button but we're gonna go ahead and dive nose deep into this thing and see exactly what we are working with um this is off of the dv website uh, but here we go. We have an article here. Oop, wrong screen. Pause. One moment, please. Um, here we go. Awesome. So we have an article here. It says, who can travel to Germany now that COVID restrictions are being tightened again? Uh, coronavirus infections are surging in Germany. And what does that mean for tourists? Here are the answers to some of those most pressing questions. Um, so we have here, it says the fourth coronavirus wave is currently resulting in record infections in many European countries, including Germany. In some places, the situation is so dramatic that public events and fairs have been canceled and contact restrictions introduced. Um, I'm very curious as to how this whole Christmas market thing is going to work this year, because earlier this year I was I was saying and I even said uh, a few videos ago that that was one of the things I looked forward to this year was going to uh, the Christmas markets. Of course, my plans changed, but not in the way, um, not for the reason that you would think, you know what I mean? Um, but it seemed like from what a lot of you guys were telling me that that would not really be a thing, um, mainly because of the, the infections. And as we can see here, that's starting to look like that might be the case uh tourist travel has also been banned in parts of germany on tuesday the u.s once more issued a warning against visiting germany although vaccinated tourists can still enter um what do these developments mean for anyone wishing to enter germany what quarantine rules apply and what do holiday uh, german holiday makers need to bear in mind when returning home here are answers to some of the most important questions so once again we're getting to the answers but this is like the second thing okay so who can enter germany is question number one boom despite soaring infections conditions for entering germany are in some cases more relaxed than they were a year ago nevertheless all arrivals with from the age of 12 must present proof of vaccination recovery and an approved negative covid19 test regardless of where they are coming from and by what means of transport this requirement will remain in force until january 15th of 2022 entry is possible from all eu countries as well as the schnegan associated states of iceland norway switzerland and Liechtenstein. before traveling to germany make sure to get an overview of the latest developments and rules travelers can find detailed information on the websites of the ministry of health and the ministry of of the interior and the foreign office okay so now we go into question number two which is are people from third countries allowed to travel to germany i think they were trying to avoid the word the, the term third world but anyways from third countries entry from third countries is possible again all by under the certain conditions Residents from a list of safe third countries, which includes Australia and Canada, may enter Germany for any purpose, subject to the above-mentioned documentation requirement. Travelers from the other third countries, include the U.S., uh, must enter. Must either be fully vaccinated or put forward pressing grounds for their trip. So Germany has declared South Africa as a virus variant area, and of. As of Friday night, November 26, 2021, airlines will only be allowed to transport German nationals and permanent residents from the country, um, Health Minister Jens Spahn has tweeted. Even then, 14 days of quarantine quarantine will apply to everyone, including those who have been vaccinated or recovered, Spahn added. Only vaccines approved by Germany's Paul Ehrlich Institute are recognized, which currently comprises vaccine, vaccines from Biotech, Pfizer, Moderna, AstraZeneca, 
and Johnson & Johnson. Licensed foreign co versions of these vaccines are recognized as equivalent. A person is considered fully vaccinated if 14 days have passed since the second shot. For those who have recovered from a coronavirus infection, a single dose is sufficient. Although, also, only one vaccination is required for the Johnson & Johnson vaccine. I heard that that one was honestly the sketchiest one. I mean, I could be wrong, but that's what I was told. I was told. Which which vaccin, vaccine, bleh, which vaccination variant did you guys receive? Let me know in the comments down below. And um, I, it shouldn't matter. It honestly doesn't matter at all. People are like, oh, I got the Moderna. Oh, I got the da-da-da. Oh, I got the... As long as you got vaccinated, it's all good. You know what I mean? Um, I, didn't, I did not have a choice. I'm not sure if you guys knew this, but the military, they make you get the vaccine and it's kind of a thing you know so if the government's pushing for the vaccination um then of course as a service member you have to get it it's not like a choice it's a mandate so i got vaccinated and stuff um and i feel fine you know i think i, I had some interesting symptoms like within the first what uh 48 hours of getting the vaccination but it went away and i'm good so who needs to quarantine is the next question. All arrivals failing to present proof of vaccination recovery or a negative COVID-19 test must self-isolate. Likewise, arrivals from high-risk and virus variant countries must quarantine in Germany. Travelers from high-risk countries must spend 10 days in self-isolation, whereas those from virus variant countries must self-isolate for two weeks. Individuals from high-risk countries may cease self-isolating if they can present a negative test result on day five. This option is not really available for people from virus variant destinations. Germany's disease control agency, the Robert Koch Institute, uh, currently classifies a spate of the EU member states high-risk countries, among them being Belgium, the Netherlands, Greece and Austria and also Croatia. Anyone wishing to travel to Germany from there must complete a digital passenger locator form. And at the moment, Germany doesn't list any vir virus variant countries. Um, before planning your journey, be sure to check the weather. Uh, be, 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 sure, be sure to check whether Germany deemed your country high risk and a variant destination. So uh, another obvious question here, this is, do I need to take a coronavirus test before arriving? Um, I would say yes, but here it's saying not necessarily. Provided travelers can prove that they are fully vaccinated or have recovered from a, virus, a coronavirus infection, no test is needed. Some airlines and train operators, however, ask passengers to take an additional COVID-19 test. Okay, so boom. So it says, will Germany introduce a vaccine mandate? Uh, boom. So in Germany, PCR tests are accepted only if taken within the, f the past 72 hours. Rapid tests may be no older than 48 hours. Boom. So uh, for all my fellow German people, this is a question that a lot of uh, this is a question that was quite common, which is um, I'm a German tourist and contracted the coronavirus on holiday. May I return to Germany? Um, the Ministry of Health urges anyone who has fallen ill with COVID-19 to quarantine abroad instead of returning home and potentially infecting others. Even so, authorities may not refuse entry to Germany. If you do make your way back, be sure to self-isolate the moment you step foot on German soil. Anyone who tests positive for COVID-19 is barred from air travel. Likewise, infected individuals from high-risk or virus variant destinations are also banned from traveling to Germany. I feel like this should be applied for not, not just coronavirus, but for like most illnesses. Like if you're sick, you shouldn't really be traveling. I mean, I know it sounds like pretty controversial, but I don't really think it's that controversial. If you're not feeling well and you could potentially get other people sick, then you shouldn't be traveling. That should be a rule in general, internationally, right? Like, I don't know. That, to me, it just makes sense. But um, anyways, boom. I want to travel to Germany with my children, which rules apply. So the rules set out above apply to children age 12 and above. Those below this age are exempt from providing that they are vaccinated, have recovered, or tested negative. Moreover, they are required to quarantine for only five days when returning from a high-risk country. So, um, they're covering all angles of these questions, man. Uh, let's skip a couple. Boom. May tourists visit cinemas, museums, and restaurants in Germany? Because I mean, come on, if I'm traveling to Germany, I'm trying to, I'm trying to vibe. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to, I'm trying to go out there and see some things. Rules can vary from state to state. 
and sometimes even by region. Many federal states, such as Berlin, Hamburg, Saxony, and North Rhine-Westphalia, Westphalia have instituted the so-called 2G, geimpft oder genesen, vaccinated or recovered rule for many venues and public events. It means only people who can prove they are vaccinated or have recovered from many, um, or oh, blah, 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 blah. it means only people who can prove that they are vaccinated or have recovered may enter restaurants, museums, and attend certain events. Unvaccinated guests will find it challenging to go about touristic activities. Germany's epidemiolog uh, epidemiological situation is in flux. States and regions may adapt or even intensify measures aimed at curbing the recent infection surge. Some have even called for the 2G rule to be rolled out nationwide. Wow. So the 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 short answer is uh yine? <laughs> Like you can, but you might as well wait. Honestly, I think I'm kind of glad that travel plans didn't really work out for me to go to Germany this year, just because there seems to be a lot of just, you know, rule switching and um, just complications due to the pandemic. But that's also worldwide as well. So I'm going to happily just stay in my little happy self in America until I am given the official green light to travel to Germany with no no problems. Now, I am fully vaccinated, so I'm able to do all those things mentioned, so it's not going to be too much of a problem, but I feel like, you know, um, restrictions can tighten further than they are already over there, right? And also here. So um, I'm just going to play it safe until everything pretty much settles down and we're able to, to enjoy um, ourselves in the public a lot more um, worldwide, and then I'll, I'll, I'll schedule a trip accordingly. But boom. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much, that's pretty much it for this article. So what we can say is that a few things are, 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 are definitely up in the air right now. How strict is each region in Germany? We don't know. Um, at least the people in America, we definitely don't know. Um, it's easy to kind of get updates on where this is. Um, you know, like there's a, there's one last question here too, uh, that has something to do with what we were just talking about. It's like, what must I do if I contract the coronavirus during my stay in Germany? It says quarantine yourself as fast as possible and inform your health authority in question and blah, blah, blah. Um, they have like a list of websites that'll help you kind of get things together. But this is very interesting. Um, for those that are out there, uh, you know, living out there in Germany and stuff like that, what is the, the, the situation like? I mean, has the pandemic really affected your lives in a negative way? Or how has the pandemic affected your lives within the last month? Because I feel like a lot of the restrictions have been quite relaxed. Um, over the last few months here in America, um, and also our cases have dropped, but we are also entering flu season as we speak. So um, I am very curious to see how that's also, um, you know, playing a role overseas in the lovely land of Deutschland. So let me know what you think in the comments down below. I love you guys. I hope all of you guys are healthy and safe, and I hope you guys enjoy your holiday. Um, I'm going to be posting some videos on that. I had some pretty interesting questions uh, that people were asking me, and I'm going to address them in another video. Take care. Love you guys. Peace. Well, 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 what a pleasure it is to see all of your beautiful faces at the end of this lovely video. Subscribe if you haven't already. I'm sure you know, as I've mentioned in the past, we do have a Discord that's linked in the description down below, and we would love to have you a part of the world's greatest community ever. Bray Gang. Yes, if you've made it to this point in the video, you're officially a part of the community. So go ahead, join the Discord server. Link is in the description down below. And we also have other social media as well, like Instagram, Twitter, we're live. We, we go live on Twitch quite, quite often as well. So I, it would behoove you to, you know, go ahead and subscribe to the Twitch channel at twitch.tv slash James Join the cause and be a part of the greatest, literally the greatest community ever. Okay. It's simple. Just go ahead and do those little things. We're trying to grow on all these little platforms and everything, and it really means a lot. Now, I know you guys stumbled up across the channel, and you're like, what does this guy post? Like, what kind of content does he post? Reactions, vlogs, pretty much whatever comes to my mind. All right? It's random content. I don't know what I'm going to be posting 10 years from now, but I do know that you can stick along for the journey, and it really means a lot. Now, for every single person that subscribes and follows, all of the accounts that I have made and the, all 
the links will be in the description down below. That's an automatic entry for any future giveaways I decide to have. I'll remind you when the giveaways take place, but you'll be surprised what I will be giving away because you guys have supported me so much up to this point, and it's only right that I do the same thing back. Thank you guys so much for being amazing, and I will see you in the next video. Take care. Peace.